Hello, David here, and without further ado, I'll be showing you how to make your own custom icons for your live tiles on your Windows 10 start menu, like this Google Chrome icon I have here. As you can see, this Photoshop one kind of sticks out with its traditional desktop application icon compared to this modern Chrome, I Chrome icon, which matches the mail icon, the Cortana icon, on the various live tiles. So it sort of fits in more. Also, you'll notice here on the taskbar, it blends in very nicely. I also made a Steam one. I also made one for Audacity. And I, I plan on making quite a bit more, including one for Photoshop. So I will show you how to create your own icon for any desktop program that you use. So the first thing you do is go to a website and download something called Metro Studio. So the website you're gonna to wanna to go to is syncfusion.com slash downloads slash Metro Studio. That's gonna take you to this download page. All right, once you're there, you'll see a little form and you'll need to fill out your name. You can put in whatever you want uh, for your company, but you wanna put in your actual email address. It doesn't matter what you put in for company. And then, it honestly, doesn't really matter what you put in for your phone. But if you'd like, put in your actual phone number. And then click free download, and when you do that, your unique key and uh, will be will be emailed to you, and you'll be able to download it right there. And you know how to install programs, hopefully. If you don't, I can make a follow-up video. But hopefully, most of you know how to install programs. And then when you're done, find the application called Metro Studio and open it you'll find this vast array of icons and they're all modern because they're all flat and, and uh, they have that sort of Microsoft look which is really awesome. There's, there's an icon for all sorts of things. You can do even do a search. So here's the Photoshop one. But let's say I wanted to search for it. You can do a little search and come up with some results. So then click this little pencil icon here and you'll come up with this screen. I think the default will look something like this, but make sure you're choosing this transparent option, transparent background. Change the size from whatever it is by default, it might be 32 or something. Change it to 256, and then make the padding zero on this slider over here. And then make sure the icon color is white or whatever color you want it to be on your live tile. I choose white because it matches a lot of the other icons. When you're finished, click export, and then save it. I'm just gonna save it in my downloads. All right, now you've just created a PNG image with a transparent background of the icon that you want to use. So the next thing you're going to want to do is open up a browser and go to convertico.com. It's going to take you to this website. So then what you'll do is you'll click upload and we'll navigate to the folder where you downloaded the icon. Click open. And it's going to generate an ICO version of the image. So now it's downloaded, it's finished downloading. Okay, so what I've basically done is I've taken this image, which is a PNG image, and I've converted it to an ICO file, which can be read by programs. So what I'm gonna do now is go to, so I already have Photoshop pinned, but let's say you wanna pin Adobe Photoshop to your startup screen, you obviously just right click it, pin to start, pin to taskbar. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find it and hit open file location. Now notice this path here. It's program data, Microsoft Windows start menu programs. So there'll be a start menu folder if you click open file location. And then find the program that you wanna use, that you, whose icon you wanna change. Okay, I wanna change the 64-bit version. So I'm gonna right click this one, go to properties, one of the options will be shortcut, which it happened to be on. Now click change icon. There'll be all these default icons that are part of the package of the .exe file. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna browse to that ICO file we just generated. And here it is, it's .ico, so that's how you know it's the right kind of file. It'll show that, click okay. Now it looks invisible on Explorer. Okay, you need, sometimes you need administrative privileges. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpin. See, it already changed right there. So I'm going to pin it to the taskbar. And now you can see Photoshop is now a white flat icon, which is really, really cool looking. So now when I click this and Photoshop opens, 
it is now a really neat modern looking icon and it looks great on your start menu along with the other uh, live tiles and default Windows 10 applications. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to get cool looking tiles for your start menu that you can customize. If you did enjoy this video or you got value out of it, please subscribe for more videos like it. Thank you very much.